everybody, welcome back to the Zim's Video Journal. This is episode 24, and once again, we're back here in the closet studio. So, I, where do I start? I guess I'll start with, um, I don't know, um, I got some kind of exciting news. I've decided to, um, start a, uh, podcast. I'm going to start a podcast on, uh, the local music of Seattle. Basically, this is the idea. I'm going to, it's going to, the kind of like the thread that combines it is going to be music and specifically local music. But, um, I feel like, you know, I've made over my years, um, of, you know, over my years, I've made a lot of, uh, friends that have a larger reach than just local music, but that's the thread. I can, um, tie them back to Seattle, but some of them are now in New York and Las Vegas and many other LA, many other places that um, I could tie them back to the Seattle scene, talk to them about, you know, what it's like, um, where they're at now in their careers and their lives and how, it, you know, and a, and a reflection back on what they experienced while in Seattle and how it's different now and things like that. And the other thing with it is I definitely wanted to be about the scene, about the Seattle scene, music scene, um, and, you know, it'll be kind of a niche audience, um, at first, I'm sure, if it, if it generates any kind of, like, um, interest by, by, by listeners, um, but, uh, I'm hoping it could be a conversation about, um, you know, what it means to be in this scene, and what it's like from all different perspectives, I have, you know, I've made friends that are bookers now for show, for venues, I, I've made friends that are owners of clubs, things like that, that, you know, host music, of course, tons of musicians, um, you know, I have photographers, people that are in, in the other side of arts that use music as a, uh, kind of their, their muse, their influence to kind of, you know, do things with that with photography and other types of artwork. Um, so there's lots of, there's just lots of people I can ask to be a part of this, um, that I think would be an interesting, um, would create interesting conversations and hopefully shed some light on on how things work from different perspectives so that the listeners like you and me um, can hear the stories of what it's like from a different side, you know, it's like, um, you know, just an example of like, you know, I've never been a booker, you know, what is it like for a booker? What is it like when they are trying to set up shows and do different things and things like that? What kind of like, advice almost could they give you know in throughout the conversation hopefully you know there'll be a lot of good information that'll be presented so you know i've already sent out i've sent out like a handful of emails to some of my friends that want to get involved with it and a lot more will be going out um and so and i've got um some great positive feedback so far a lot uh, pretty much everybody's like yeah i'll be part of it um you know just a matter of scheduling so i'm going to start scheduling them I'm hoping to get a, a few in the can, essentially, before I actually post them. And I got to figure out how the whole iTunes things works with podcasts and uploading them and, and making that happen. The name of the podcast is going to be called Word on the Street. Um, after a my favorite um, Seattle band, Mock Tube, um, one of their songs, um, there's a lyric in it that says Word on the Street. So um, that's what it's, you know, based after, and for the longest time, like, I've been dreaming about doing some kind of local music blog or something for a long time, and there's, you know, we got plenty of blogs out there, and then recently I've really gotten into listening to podcasts while I'm at work and that whole thing, and, and kind of like the one that's, that kind of like, the main catalyst, I don't know, these videos are the evolution of it in a way, like, doing these, and then I'll still be doing these, because these are just me, you know? But my podcast will be with guests, and I'll be interviewing, kind of interviewing. I don't, I don't want it to be so much as an interview, like question, 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 answer type thing. I want it to be a conversation where maybe they'll start asking me questions. It'll just be like, just a conversation, you know, like an, any old conversation. Um, and and cool things will come out of it. Kind of like the the one the podcast that has inspired this for me is a uh, the Nerdist podcast with um, is the guy Chris. Um, forget his last name, but anyways, it's the Nerdist, and if you're into podcasts, you probably know about it, because that's been around a little while now, um, but, uh, so, so that's that, that whole thing, I'm gonna get started on that, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, I'm, I'm excited to see how it'll evolve, and what'll happen, and I'm just, there's just, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see how it goes, so I'll keep you posted on that, and hopefully, um, 
you'll listen to them and download them and do all that kind of thing. So, uh, so there's that. So look out for that. Word on the street podcast. Um, probably won't get it uploaded. I'm I'm imagining sometime in November will be when it actually launches. Um, I'll probably do a bunch of interviews through October, so I have some in the can so that. It can just keep rolling. My plan is that I do one a week. Like I'm thinking at this point, I'm, like it'll every Monday a new episode will come out. But um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, and then the other thing I want to talk about is the Zim and A Rock. We're we're getting her up again to go back in the studio this weekend. We're going in the studio. We're going to go over our friend T J Barry's house to record the initial drum tracks for four more songs and. Um, if you don't know TJ, he, you know, I played with him in 94th Street back in the day um, with Kevin Saka. So that was, you know, where I met, well, actually, I met TJ at Shoreline Community College. And then, um, you know, we played music together and eventually formed that band, um, 94th Street. And he played in um, Panda Conspiracy, you know, Project Lionheart, Mob Law, um, you know, just he was in a, he's been in a bunch of bands. He played guitar and he's a great, um, recording engineer and, and producer type. So it'll be awesome to, to work with him, see what his ideas are and how that all plays out. Um, I don't really have any kind of like expectations for deadlines. I've decided not to have a deadline expectation. We're going to do these initial drum tracks and then I'm just going to let it play out, see how long it just, you know, I'll have to go to his house or whatever. I'm not sure how it's all going to play out in terms of recording all the rest of the stuff, but, um, but hopefully, you know, maybe around the first year or so, it would be awesome if it was done. Because then after then after it's done, I'm going to com- basically compile all the songs we've done into one um, kind of recording kind of package and kind of put them out. Um, so that's that. And then and I'm still on my, you know, like the last episode I was talking about, the, the kind of Facebook stuff I'm doing. I'm still doing that. I'm just adding friends. Just um, got some feedback from some people about my initial email that I'm sending people and I've kind of elaborated on my email now so I don't know I'm just you know adding a bunch of people I've stopped adding the suggested um friends because they are it's all like hot girls which you know is fine I like hot girls just like every other guy but it's it's weird that that's all I'm getting are hot girls I'm not getting any other like local musicians or any other kind of like um, you know, more kind of normal people, I guess. Um, so I've, you know, I'm kind of seeking out where I can find, um, kind of, kind of more local, more Seattle based people, um, through Facebook and kind of just, you know, making my way through the, through, um, the maze of Facebook and playing the game of Facebook. I'm calling it to myself, you know, it's like, I was just talking to A-Rock about it. It's like, Facebook has become my video game. It's like just adding people. And, you know, I've gotten... So, like, I get... You know, like I said last time, I get a little bit of negative um, feedback from the fact that I'm doing this cut-and-paste email to everybody. And um, it's just... I don't know. I, I just find it funny. Um, that, you know, the, the amount of people that give me negative comments is, like, very minor compared to the amount of people that are supportive of it because, it, you know... From what I can tell, we're all in the same boat. You know, the people that do actually accept my friend request, they're all, like, trying to do the same thing I am, just not doing it in the way that I'm doing it. You know, they're, uh, they want to get their craft and their music and their art and their things out there just as much as I want to get mine out there. Just most people aren't, you know, I guess OCD enough to go and email every single person or willing to do that. And that's, you know, it's 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 this weird time. It, it is time-consuming, but... I'm doing it on my phone so I can just get it in whenever, you know, it's not like, um, it's not, uh, it's just kind of a weird thing, but it's cool. It's still rolling, you know, I still haven't got anybody downloading the music, but you know, hopefully over time it'll happen. Um, but you know, that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you tonight. I got the podcast I'm getting started on. Super stoked on that. Look out for that. Um, just another way to talk about music, be involved with music, kind of get the, just, you know, another thing that, that sounds really cool for me to do, so I want to do that. Um, Peace and Love Volume 4 is underway, going to be underway this weekend, going to get that going. We had a practice tonight. Um, it was a great practice, getting our, uh, getting, tightening up what we need to tighten up, and uh, so that'll be awesome. And then just keep on the face, I'm just keeping on the Facebook thing and, and making that happen. So, uh, 
you know, download the music, Peace and Love Volume 3, Peace and Love Volume 1 and 2, download it all, it's all free, um, we want you to have it, share the links with your friends, do all that stuff, as always, put, I'll put a bunch of links down in the description of this video, subscribe to this YouTube page, um, YouTube channel, and um, yeah, thanks for watching um, the Zim Video Journal, episode 24, peace.